Hello and welcome! I'm Gerald and this is a review of the recent autumn update for Transport Fever 2. So happy to see the developers still care about this now 5 year old game and are releasing so many new additions and quality of life updates. But at the same time, I'm a bit upset that this is the last of those. I completely understand though, 5 years of support for a game of this type plus who knows how much time they spent on developing it in the first place is a lot already and the devs have my complete gratitude. There is a lot of features and changes to cover so let's go for it. We are here in the main menu welcome screen because the first thing is the mod browser. We have an integrated mod browser for Mod.io and Steam Workshop first in the PC version but also in the console version so for you console player blah, players this is very very good news you can now have all the mods that we spoiled people on pc have had for a while and believe that this game really needs them because it's more of a sandbox and the motors definitely expand the things that you can do in the game a lot all right what do we have here we have pretty much all the mods that you can ask for, 13,000 of them. You can click on any mod, you can see likes, dislikes, you can subscribe and unsubscribe. You can see a summary, downloads, rating, file size, date, added, date, updated. Some tags which help a lot. The author, there should be a description here, but I clicked on the worst possible mod. Let's see by subscribers. Cargo asset, of course. You have the description as well, you have all the pictures. This helps a lot because I already subscribed to a few things just while I was exploring this new addition to the game because you can find things very easily here. You have a bunch of categories that you can filter things, subscribed, uploaded, scenarios. Here you have all the climates and all the different regions that you usually choose in the beginning before, before you start the game. You have maps and save games. You have all the types of vehicles in the game and you can filter by them if you need something specific. You have all the stations in the game as well. You have all the tracks and streets here as well. You have depots. If you want some crazy looking depot or something more special about your game, you can go there. In the Strental building, you have a bunch of um, mods here that change how the game works in general. Production times four in the Street Tycoon. You know, we have already played in the playthrough with a bunch of them. Brush and track assets, uh, this is more visual stuff and miscell miscellaneous filters for something that couldn't go to any of these categories. And that's it pretty much. I think this is great, really, especially for the console players that couldn't uh, benefit from all this content until now. All right, next stop, we are going to review a bunch of the other changes but for that we need to switch to a map and of course we are going to use the recently concluded playthrough of the United States of America so see you there guys okay guys welcome back here we are in the United States of America and we are currently observing New York this beautiful beautiful city that we have here if you in ca any case missed this playthrough I will leave a link to the playlist in the description of the video all right now let's start with one of the major changes that we have and that is automatic alignment and snappy when placing buildings so let's see what this means well it basically means that now if we take a cargo truck station and we put it next to a road we have automatic snapping to the road look at that beautiful beautiful snapping I think that's going to help a lot, maybe not so much with the truck station, but with some other stations and ports that you're, we are going to review very soon. Because with the truck stations, I really, really love usually to have more space between the street and the station itself to be able to place buildings there. But you can still do that, of course, by just pressing shift. And when you press shift, the automatic snapping is gone. And if you release the shift button it's there again so yeah that's it works for other buildings if you have what is it let me see let me find a space where it's going to work ah there you go you see now this mod is also snapping to the road 
I don't know if it's going to do it the way that you want to, but <laughs> at least it does it, right? All right, that's for Rolt. Let's review in another place, though. Uh, we want to do a train station. Let's do it here. Building. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And... Oh. So no snapping for... Rail? Is that for real? Yeah, it appears. I was expecting this to be snapping as well. But apparently not. Oh, well, this is a little bit disappointing, to be honest. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. But it's not snapping. Or maybe it's not part of the... Of the changes. Okay, cool. I will take that loss. Now, next thing. Boom! Ports are now snapping to your coastlines. Which is great. I don't know how useful it is going to be because it doesn't really do it in probably the way that you want to place your port at. But it's there. And again, pressing shift removes it. You can see that. Good stuff. Let's uh, maybe show it somewhere around here, around the legs. It should probably look a little bit better. There you go. Snap. No snap. Snap. Beautiful. Okay. And one thing that is definitely going to surprise you. We have the same thing for airports as well and for example we are going to place an airport no this is probably too big uh here come on come on snap for me baby snap snap no you don't wanna oh come on come on you can do it i believe in you no it doesn't want to <laughs> but it is snapping uh no <laughs> Well, it's not as easy, I guess, with um, airports because they are kind of big. But they do snap as well. Yeah, it doesn't want to show it to us now. Anyway, you will be able to see it in your own game. It really doesn't want to snap for some reason. I don't understand it. Maybe it doesn't work as well when you use mods. It's very, very possible. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe that's why. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, so for the for the mods it doesn't work, but here you can see the snap with the um, asset from the game. There. There you go. Snapping. Interesting why it doesn't work with the mods. Uh, the modder would hopefully uh, check that and fix it. But there we go. We have snapping for airports as well. All right. Oh, maybe that's why also my train stations were not snapping, right? Because they are uh, modded. Ooh. So, if you're watching this guy with the mod that I'm using here to expand the size of the stations, please try to fix that, bro. Thank you very much. All right. Next, we are going to replace bridges and tunnels. But I will just show you bridges now because I don't have extra tunnels. Just by clicking. Come, click on the bridge, change its type, pay the money, and there you go. Now you have a new bridge. This is so awesome. So awesome. Saves so much time because you can even just click and see which one you like the most. Just with a few clicks and you can have a preview. It's amazing. It's amazing and I love it. I just love it. This is one of the best features here. All right. And to the ultimate best feature, the most amazing feature that they added game changer literally and figuratively and in any way is three way switches we can now connect rails in this shape believe it or not it's amazing and that literally changes the game because it opens so many options for different connections like this one, for example. Look at that beauty. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three connections. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. And I love it. And I can't wait to use it. Especially for connections to stations like here or here. Exits. It's going to just change the game for me. All right. We also have improved traffic simulation 
The road vehicles would prefer routes with fewer intersections, which is great, great, great stuff. They're also going to have a better spread across all lanes. For example, with roads which have more than one lane like this one. And they will also take over slower vehicles on multi-lane roads, which I will not be able to show you, I think, here, because this is already a tram and it's going to stay on the right always. But yeah, it's going to do it from now on. Trust me, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we have? We have a few more changes for road and truck construction. I think you already noticed some of them when I was building the trucks and you have a few guidelines here like those. They will not be as useful, I imagine, for rail because we usually have to make a turn to do some gradient here for the turn. But yeah, it's going to be much more useful for our streets. For example, let's build this one and now we can extend it straight forward to 135 degrees or come on my mod is actually preventing me from showing you so that's 135 180 or 135 or 90 or 45 and it also snaps to the different guidelines that you have here which is great and it's going to be super useful in situations that occur many times let's say that we want to do this and now we can have the guideline here for the 90 degrees. It doesn't snap directly because of the connection that it has with the other road, but at least you can see where it is. And boom, now you have a 90 degree connection here. That is freaking awesome and I love it. I also love that now we have length and we also have uh, the degrees in which your road is going. I'm sorry, but my other mod is actually preventing us from seeing that. 135. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Okay, and what else do we have? We also have something amazing which I didn't use in my playthrough, but let's use a highway. We have this beautiful feature now. Let's do this, and then let's do that. And a little bit, oops, of, no, that's too much. Of more road like that, and now, Look at this magic. Boom. Wow, it doesn't work as expected. If you have many curves, you see what's going to try to do. But if you go a little bit backward on the road, it's going to give you the parallel road. And then you can just finish it here like that. Be aware of this. I did check that a lot. The more curves you have, the worse the new feature is going to work. So yeah, just be aware of it. But otherwise, it's very, very nice. I don't know why you would do highways, which limit the speed anyway, because that's going to be, let's see, at 72 kilometers per hour out of 100, right? Maximum. So you probably don't want to do highways with such sharp turns anyway, but I don't know, maybe you want to go up the mountain or something. Who knows? All right. We have a few more, which I'm going to show you. Um, we have... An added option to individually flip vehicles during train configuration. What does that mean? Well, let's take train. Let's take this body. This is going to be very visible actually. So let's manage this vehicle. We're going to click on edit. Bring this guy up a little bit. Maybe zoom out a little bit as well. Oh, can we? Yeah, okay, like that. And now here in the train configuration if you press shift you will see how this button changed and now it says flip vehicle we are going to flip the vehicle modify and boom the vehicle is flipped it's a purely cosmetical kind of thing uh, uh it doesn't have any i think it doesn't change any uh of the functionality of the train itself but you can do it ah also something else i don't know if everybody knows that but also with shift you can put things at the end of a train configuration like that again pressing shift all right we also have a bunch more things one of which says improved memory usage this one i don't know about that because i checked my task manager and it definitely uses pretty much the same amount as before a ton but i will believe them i will believe them i believe that they did some work on that front as well 
All right. There is a bunch more things. If you want to check the full change log, I will leave a link to that in the description as well. What do you think about the recent update? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Tell me why in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop the video a like and click the subscribe button. The next playthrough is coming very, very soon. Thank you for watching and see you there.